In my last video, I designed a 3D printed opposed piston engine, and I asked you guys to give me some ideas with what I could do with it in the comments, and one of you suggested to try and lift something with it, and I liked this idea. So I recently watched in Tegs' Wankel engine video, where he carried out the well-known power test of strapping a banana to your engine and seeing if it can lift it. So I'm going to see if my engine can lift a banana. So as per usual, I overcomplicated things. So I first designed and printed this mount which could attach to my desk. The point of this mount was so that I could change the gear ratio of the engine so that I could hopefully lift more weight. The desk mount will have a roller which I will tie some string to. Then to the other end of the string I will tie some in which I want to lift. The roller is geared to the engine so that when the engine spins, the roller spins. And as the roller spins, it lifts the weight. So first I have to make a few modifications to my engine so that it can fit to the mount. So let's get that out of the way first. Uh. Oh, <laughs> and I've broke another one. So first I'm going to try and lift something really light, just to prove that it works. So I'm going to go with a pen, and if it can't lift this, then the engine is useless as fuck. Okay, let's see if it goes. Still be broke. <clears throat> so I, uh, I put the engine back together the wrong way. Not like I literally made this exact same mistake in the last video. Okay, 20 psi. Fuck. So now I've put it back together the right way. It appears to be working fine. So. Let's see if I can lift something. <laughs> so it lifts the pen, which is a good start, but now for the true test of power. The banana lift. Otherwise known as Integza test. Jump banana! 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 Well, that was uh, disappointing. So the engine is clearly less powerful than the Wankel engine that Integza and 3D Print Life have made. But to try and save face, I'm going to increase the gear ratio and see if that can help lift the banana. It was at this point I realised my grave mistake. That I had not considered that if I increase the gear ratio, the output gear will get significantly bigger, which means it won't fit in the mount I printed off. Oh, fuck! Yes, I could have printed another one. But that would have been another full day of printing and another 100 grams of filament. Ain't nobody got time for that! So the largest gear ratio which would fit is a 1 to 1.5. Not a massive increase from the 1 to 1, but it's worth a try. So I printed off these gears and gave it another shot. and the engine still can't lift the banana. It was at this point I decided this was a stupid test. Everyone knows bananas are a bad fruit to use when you're testing the power of engines. So I tossed aside the banana and decided to use a tangerine instead. Tangerine, tangerine, tangerine. Baby. So there we have it. My opposed piston engine has one tangerine power. The tangerine weighed about 90 grams and the banana weighed about 130 grams. So 
My engine can lift about 0.7 bananas. <laughs> this is stupid as fuck. To calculate the power of the engine, I can use this formula. Power equals force times velocity. The force is simply the downward force of the tangerine due to gravity. And the velocity is the distance travelled over time. Plugging all these numbers into the equation gives a whopping 0.27 watts. So I think some work is needed to make this a bit more powerful, as right now it's about as useful as shaving cream to a Wookiee. To try and improve the power of the engine, there's a couple of things I could do. I could try and increase the RPM of the engine, I could use bigger pistons, or I could design a multi-cylinder engine. But that's for another video. There were a few problems with this test, number one being, I don't have an air compressor which can supply a constant air pressure. I'm instead using a 2 litre bottle, which will quite quickly lose its air pressure as the engine runs. So this means that as the engine continues to run, the power which it generates and the weight which it can lift will decrease. Number two, the ball valve which I'm using to start the air supply to the engine actually causes quite a big pressure drop. But as I need to be able to stop the airflow to the engine, I don't really have a choice but to use the valve. And the final problem with this test is who actually cares what fruit this engine can lift? I mean, the test is just stupid as fuck.